Hello YouTube, it is hot out, but we had a half inch of rain. Can you believe it? They're still warning that it could be over a hundred degree heat index. And the rain was several hours ago and it is really nasty out there. I have my shed door shut because it's cooler in here than all the humidity outside. See that? True value. I cannot act honestly actually tell you where this came from but I think a friend gave me a padlock several years back to use for something I needed one for my one of my shed doors or something it's kind of sticky when you put the key in it I'll try to get some pictures of this up close I'm gonna try to clean this up without hurting this First, we're going to scrub it and see what it looks like, and I don't know if this comes off. Some of these is really rubbery and cheap, and you can peel it right off. So we'll see. Stay tuned for more cleaning. Okay, this came off pretty easily. We went around with a little screwdriver little by little and kind of pried on it. Cleaned it up. That's about the best you'll get it. We could try to put something on to make it shiny, but now off to clean this part up. We don't know exactly what we're going to do yet. Uh, we may not use a wire brush. We may just use an abrasive wheel. We'll show you what we use once we get the next step done. Okay, stainless wire brush with the Dremel. And it's still tarnished lights kind of playing tricks but I think you can see it how splotchy it looks so it's off to try something else we're going to carefully try our little uh, scrubby wheel I'll get it out you'll be able to see it whoa don't crash that in there sorry about that We'll show you what we use next. Okay, this is what we used, our little homemade abrasive wheel. It's still kind of splotchy. Two patent numbers, US and UK. That's a four zero. And it says MM, so 40 millimeters. It did work good. I kind of didn't want to stick in there too hard. It ruined it, but it did get down there to the brows. There is definitely some corrosion inside this thing. You can almost see it with the camera. If you get it just right. See it? I'm just going to flush it out. Put some cleaner and put a couple drops of oil in it. Flush it and let it drain. I'm going to wait till I'm done cleaning it though. Okay, let's see what it looks like on the top. I'm not real happy with it down here, though. It's still splotchy. See, see how it looks kind of weird when you go around the rivets? We'll see what else we got after we're done with it, this step. Okay, hope the fan ain't too bad. I still don't like that swirliness that it puts in there. And there's tarnish spots that are different tarnies that didn't take out but we did the whole thing with just this little we probably used up what not quite 50 percent of it so, so they don't last and they do wear away we're gonna take it to the beggar one and see what happens okay it's swirling around we'll see so I was going to use it on the sides too. We don't really want to use any polished polish, you know what I mean. We'll just use abrasive wheels, just a padlock. We'll be back after that. Brushing. Okay, keep that camera. I really like that. That's not too bad. It kind of did even that out so it ain't so splotchy. But you can tell the plating where it was darker and lighter. This is just a padlock. We are going to try it with this wheel. We'll think about it, just a padlock, good to experiment with. That is pretty good. 
We used the little ones. We made you get all the grooves. That way it was clean when we took it to this. See, I'd really get something smaller dirty than get this nice thing all dirty with grease and dirt. Okay, let's try this wheel and we'll be back. Okay, I think that's a lot shinier. We'd kind of do the bottom try to. You just can't get around them rivets, but that's a lot better. We're going to call that good. Let's clean up the keys and we'll be done. Okay, we're done. It's not a mirror reflection there, but worked really good on the key. Pretty nice compared to what it was before, so it's worth cleaning up. Nice padlock. I'll put off in the toolbox in case I need it for something. True value hardware. Hey, thanks for watching this uh, little episode here. I'll leave you a few pictures.